smart pool to uh, with uh, uh, 451 uh, uh, chassis and uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, bleed uh, coolant system uh, cooling system uh, on this vehicle so to do that uh, to do that uh, you first need to uh, feel the expansion tank up up to the maximum uh, level here uh, then <coughs> You need to do, you need to one second I'm going to show you so uh, you need to disconnect this hose uh, uh, from the connection uh, which has emerged from uh, cylinder heat head <coughs> and then you need to wait until the clear uh, coolant has emerged from both uh, side from connection uh, on the cylinder heat side here and from the pipe this one which is this let me move this let, i'm not sure if you can see uh, let me this one this is this is the pipe this one and let me and uh, this is the let me uh, point that with something uh, to you to be able to see so this is the this is the connection this one this one this one is the connection and this one is the hose that has gone that way and connected to this coolant uh, metal pipe here. You need to disconnect this and wait uh, until uh, a clear uh, bubble pre-coolant has emerged from both sides, from the cylinder heat side and from the pipe, from this pipe here. And then connect this two back together. So. When you connected this uh, hose to the connection back on the cylinder heat side, then put the clamp, <coughs> clamp or clamp back on and start the engine and uh, wait until the uh, coolant, uh, the radiator coolant fan has turned on and uh, 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 turned off again. So after that, you need to be careful because the engine is going to be very, very hot. You need to disconnect this again later. Later, I'm going to show you on the service manual as well. Uh, you need to wait until the engine uh, has become as much cold as you are able to work again on this and you can I disconnect this pipe again and then uh, see any bubble or uh, air is trapped left in the system uh, that air is going to <coughs> emerge and uh, uh, get out of the system so then you reconnect that and uh, uh, feel the <coughs> cooling system uh, up to the maximum level uh, then uh, start the engine so this is <coughs> the uh, cooling system uh, have to uh, bleed it. This is in the Saros manual. I'm going to show you as the chassis number is uh, 451 and followed by uh, figure three uh, or four. Uh, so <coughs> uh, here, as you can see, uh, it shows that uh, you need to disconnect uh, this hose which is uh, connected this hose which is connected to the uh, cylinder heat head
then let me uh, take you through the procedure so here this is the risk injury you have to uh, consider properly risk of injury to skin and eye caused by <coughs> uh, scalding from uh, contact with the hot uh, coolant spray risk of poisoning caused by swallowing <coughs> coolant so <coughs> this is the a precaution you need to <coughs> consider or uh, take to consideration so this is and then uh, so first step you need to uh, remove uh, the maintenance flap which is the top uh, cover of the engine uh, okay the second step is turn cooling system a uh, cup one expansion tank or <coughs> from a reservoir to half turn uh, counterclockwise relieve the um, over pressure and then unscrew the cooling system cap so first you need to uh, turn a uh, half uh, turn then uh, wait until the, all the pressure has gone <coughs> uh, out of the system then you uh, uh, need to remove that properly to risk of death caused by vehicle splitting or tilting of the vehicle from blah 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 you need to this take this to consideration or take this into account I'm going to show you and then you can read yourself because that's going to take time if I read to you everything so this 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 is the feeling so attach colon toes okay this is uh, when you are going to uh, drain the cooling system which is this one this boy but anyway uh, we are going to show um, we are going to go for the uh, bleeding procedure only so <laughs> the bleeding procedure is starting from here uh, loosen a uh, clamp seven and detach coolant hose six from connection uh, fitting on the cylinder heat which is this one I, as i have shown you as i have shown you on the video in the video that's that's going to be this one so uh, where is uh, that's going to be this one so this is the clamp number seven and this is the hose which I showed you but you know the picture is slightly different because my one the hose was connected directly to this metal uh, pipe but here in the uh, illustration the metal pipe is uh, bent like 90 degrees so anyway the procedure is the same so once you have uh, disconnected uh, this hose from the a connection where was it here and then uh, here this is important wait until the coolant escapes out of the coolant hose 6 and out of the connection fitting on the cylinder head so both sides you need to wait until the coolant has emerged from both sides from the rubber hose and from the uh, metal pipe So after uh, step two, you need to come to step 11. That this uh, procedure on, is only for uh, bleeding the cooling system. So loosen, loosen uh, clamp seven, and detach coolant hose six from connection for you. So this is, uh, clamp 7 and this is hose you need to disconnect this hose from this pipe removing this clamp and pulling this hose backward so 12 
Okay. So when you disconnected this hose, then you need to wait, wait until the coolant escape out of the coolant hose six and out of the connection fitting on the cylinder head. So coolant should emerge from both sides, from the rubber rubber hose and from the metal pipe, which is emerged from the uh, uh, engine uh, cylinder head. So after that, when clear coolant has emerged, so <coughs> put uh, this two back together. Uh, this two back together and put the clamp on back. So then, So then you need to top up the, the uh, coolant level again to the maximum. When you, when you have top up the coolant level to a maximum, you need to put the um, expansion uh, reservoir uh, cap back on and tightening that, fully tightening. So <clears throat> then you need to uh, start the engine, run the engine until it's warm up until the radiator fan motor switched on. So when you do that, then turn the engine off and do the procedure here. Uh, uh, repeat ventilation process operation steps two and 11 to 15. So you need to do that again. So, Step two again, like so, then 11, 11 like so, then 12, step 12, then 13. Thirteen. Fourteen. You need to consider this as well. Fifteen. I'm not going to uh, read that out to you because it's going to take time. I'm going to uh, just uh, record it and you will be able to read that so when you have done for the second time the, this then uh, there shouldn't be any air left in the system so if that's customer code you can hand the customer code to the customer if that's your code then you don't, do not need to do anything just drive the car Okay, at this uh, time, at this occasion, you do not need to put the cap. So do not need the cap on the reservoir. You need a plier with the wide mouth.
as you can see now as you can see the water is emerged or the coolant is emerged from both sides let me show you that from both sides from both sides can you see this yeah, from the cylinder head and from the hose as well so I'm going to put the hose back I have connected the hose back as you can see So I have put, I have connected the clamp back, clamp, clamp or clamp, clamp. I've connected this, this one back. And, uh, now I'm going to uh, fill the, the coolant expansion tank back to the maximum level as you can see as you can see this is empty so now i'm going to put or top up the expansion tank back to the maximum level which is here as you can see i'm not sure if you are able to see this is the maximum level i'm going to top up the, this back As you can see, as you can see, I have filled up the expansion tank or, or uh, coolant uh, reservoir to the maximum level. And now I'm going to put the uh, cap and fully tighten. <laughs> yeah. And uh, now I'm going to start the engine. So I'm going to. And now I'm going to wait until the radiator fan has come on or switched on. So the engine is running right now. Here, the radiator fan has kicked on or has turned on, as you can hear.
radiator fan is still running. I'm going to turn the engine off and wait until the engine has completely become cold. Then do the same procedure, procedure as I did in first step. I'm going to wait until the engine has completely become cold. Okay, this is the second time. Now I'm going to uh, 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 turn the expansion or the, the coolant expansion uh, reservoir uh, cap off, uh, turn off anti clockwise to release the pressure so as you can see no pressure has left so as you can see the water level is at maximum so I'm going to disconnect this pipe again I'm going to zoom that in and As you can see, there is still air trapped. Yeah, yeah, now I'm going to put that back. Okay, I have put the clip back on. Now I'm going to top up the coolant level to the maximum. And that's it, we have bleeded the cooling system again.
Okay, for the second time when you bleeding this system and disconnecting this one, make sure to uh, as soon as the proper coolant emerged uh, has emerged from both sides, from the hose sides and from the head uh, side side, you need to uh, connect back the hose to the connection here. Uh, because uh, if you leave for a longer, so the uh, coolant expansion tank is going to be emptied again. And, and the uh, air uh, may trap uh, again in the cooling system. So as soon as the uh, clear coolant has emerged from both sides, from the uh, hose and from the connection, uh, for uh, a connection uh, of the cylinder heat uh, side you